of God is at hand. Repent you and believe the gospel. Like, you know what, that phrase right there, the kingdom of God is at hand. That is a very important phrase. The kingdom of God is at hand. Now, we're talking, we're gonna talk about that kingdom of God. I'll call it kingdom business. You know, the disciples understood the coming of, of the kingdom of God. They understood it. And John 11, right there, uh, uh, Martha said, yes, Jesus, you are the first and the last resurrection. So she understood that God was coming, but her timing was off. She didn't know the timing. And today, many people, even Christians, know about the second coming of God, but their timing is off. They don't know when he's coming. They're not exactly sure when he is going to arrive. And yet the Bible begins to let us know his coming and his return. He's returning for those that are walking with him. And he's coming to this world to reclaim this world. You know, had they knew the hour and the time, we would be ready for the coming of the Lord. But our timing is off. And truly, can I ask you a question? Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Are you really ready? If he was to come today, if he was to come tonight, tomorrow morning, would you be ready? That's a question you must ask yourself. A kingdom business is preaching the good news. You see, there are many subjects that Jesus taught. He taught in the parables. He always, he would get a parable and he began to break it down. But he always talked about kingdom business. Because Jesus was about taking care of business. Yes. Is there anybody here about taking care of business? Yes. We need to take care of business. And so we find that he, uh, he you know, we understood that his listeners mess, got the message about his kingdom. You know, Luke even tells us there was an occasion after he had preached Jesus, after Jesus had preached and healed on the Sabbath day, and many were healed that evening, he said to them in Luke 4, 43, he says, I must preach the kingdom of God to the other cities, because that was the purpose I was sent for. And I say that again, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities, because this is the purpose that I have been sent. You know, a lot of people say when you talk about Christ, well, he came to die for my sins. He came, you know what, to forgive me. He came to deliver me. He came to change my life. And we, we have all kinds of things. But the Bible says right here that his purpose was to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. It was to introduce the kingdom of God. It was to bring it in. Yes. And that his earthly message began that day when he says, the kingdom of God is at hand. Yes. That means it's here, it's ready. You know, Jesus wasn't trying to set up his reign of rule at that time. God was just merely revealing an appointed time that Jesus' ministry was going to begin. And his theme was preaching the gospel. It was broadcasting the good news. See, this year, you know, we are dedicated to broadcasting the good news. Now, what does that mean? That means that we tell people, we've had bad news last year. I don't know anybody here wants to go back to next year, but I sure don't. I say goodbye, <laughs> adios, uh, see you later, never want to see you again. But his business was to preach the good news because the gospel is good news. It brings liberty, it brings life. You know, a lot of people, they say, well, why do you get excited? Why do you clap? Why do you, why do you sing? Why do you want to dance? Well, you know, I'll tell you what, out there in the, in the world, we had a lot of reasons to get excited, right? Mm -hmm. We had a lot of reasons to go, we go to a party, we want to dance and do all that stuff. We want to drink, we want to get high and do all that. Because you know what, that's a sense of enjoyment. When you experience God in your life, something happens to you. Your wants change, hallelujah. You change partner from the devil to Jesus Christ. And that's why you get happy because you know that it is God that's watching over you. Do you know that over 100 times Jesus talks about the kingdom of God? He talks